Hey there, children, and welcome back to another episode of Quincy Fairy Tales with Teching and Cone. Well, f Okay, just stay there and just shut up, okay? And just, oh, sorry about that. All right, so today's story is going to be... Ah, yes. The story of our Quincy Savior. Now, this is a very popular, family-friendly story, so I think everyone's going to enjoy it, okay? It's a classic. Once upon a time, in a small forest, there was a castle. And the children that were all Quincy's lived in this castle with the family and king, and they played every day. Everything was happy in the forest. Therefore, it needed to be burned down by our Quincy savior, Yuha. He rode in on his epic black stallion with his all Nazi soldiers, and he burned the entire forest and the castle down with his death squads. The blood of the king and queen and the children ran the entire forest red, and the, all the animals began to lick it up in a massive feast of blood and gore, which of course led to blood orgy after horrible satanic blood orgy. Yuha eventually claimed this land as his own, and on top of the skeletons and corpses of the children in the royal family, he rose up his own castle known as the Silburn, made out of ice, which reflected the sheer cold abyss that was his heart. And there is the story of our Quincy Lord and Savior, and that he reigned for a thousand years and that everybody was happy. I love this book! Epic Rock Bold of History! Eisen's chair! Versus! You horse horse! Begin! Nay! I am his majesty's royal steed, serving up his every want and need. All of his conquests it's plain to see, of course that is all on me. He's the Kaiser of the Quincy, so the point is moot. Look at your master, he's in a fucking gimp suit! Who won? Who's next? You day aside! What the fuck are you doing? Oh, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a uh, rap battle parody, you know, for, for the intro this week, you know? I thought I'd mix it up a bit. No, we're not doing that! That's just completely ridiculous! This week we were supposed to be doing the banana dance number! I mean, <laughs> didn't you check the schedule? Oh, well, dude, there's more to life than just schedules, right? Oh, yeah, sure, just just screw the schedule. I suppose you also want me to take off the sex scene in Chapter 635, huh? I, 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 I didn't say anything about that. We can keep that up there. I'm just simply saying that when a new idea comes to light, maybe you should, you know, shelve a previous idea in order to make the new idea blossom. Hmm, you know what, Rad? I think you bring up a really interesting point. You know, maybe I shouldn't be paying so much attention to structure and organization, and maybe I should focus- Get the fuck out of my spot! I gotta do a review! God, it's still fucking in there. Well, hey dude, if it's bothering you so much, just go in there and kick it out. That's what a real man would do in this situation. <laughs> no, I, I did that last time, and uh, let's just say it didn't end too smoothly, okay? I'm just going to wait this one out, but God, it's just taking forever. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. I guess I gotta do everything. I'll go talk to it. What, seriously? Oh, come on, man. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Seriously. I should probably go get the blood mop. Hey, dude, it's all cool in here. For realsies? Yeah, yeah, it says it's a complete misunderstanding. Just come on in, we're having drinks and some snacks. You can do the review, everything will be fine. Okay. That's good. I... I like snacks. I think. Yeah, so what's going on in the... Okay, yeah, I totally should have expected that. Oh, oh yeah, man, it already went ahead and broke my legs. And my arms. And there goes my neck. You know, okay, before you kill me, I just wanted to tell you one thing, that C has always been my favorite- <laughs> yes, Stunrita C. Pundina Pongshas was in fact I, the left arm of the Soul King all along. <laughs> but you didn't see that coming, did you? Now, Mayuri Kurotsuchi, allow me to invade your body, twist your nerves, and rip off your skull so that I may drop it at the feet of our amazing His Majesty Yuha Bok so that I can finally be- Oh. Sup? Not much, man. Um, didn't expect to see you here. Uh, 
when was the last time we saw each other? A couple years back? It's been 3,622 years since the last time we spoke. Do you know how much mom has been worried? Oh, yeah, you don't have to bring that out. No, I'm tired of this bullshit. Ever since you were a little kid, all this crap about, I'm gonna go off into the world, I'm gonna see. You know, you kept writing us letters that you were the new mascot of Jainism or some shit. And we believed you. Okay, we were proud of you. And then all of a sudden you show up here. You're in the league with the Quincy's. You know what? I'm tired of this shit. Mom's tired of this shit, and Dad, you know what? You're coming home with me. No, no, I can't. I'm really doing this thing. You're coming home with me right now. I will twist your fucking... Okay, okay, okay. Fight, 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 That was the weirdest intro skit I've ever done in my life. Just, just thought I should let you know. Yeah. Welcome back to the TGIF Marathon on the Soul Society Network. Kicking it off tonight with a new episode of The Volatile Couple. Ah, yes, this seems like a good spot. Okay, Urahara, let's start digging here. Mayori, this is a cemetery. <laughs> yes, and what is your point? You said we were going grocery shopping. Oh, I did? Huh. I could have sworn I said, let's go defile a graveyard and then raise an army of the undead. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah, you did. I'm sorry, a uh, little bit forgetful. That's why I brought my grave robbing shovel with me. But uh, I have to say, I have some serious issues with this. Bah! Would you just go with the flow with me for once on this? Hey, listen, I got nothing against defiling a graveyard and then bringing back a bunch of corpses. All I'm saying is maybe we should have consulted the family members of these bodies first before, you know, we make their loved ones go off and fight a battle. Maybe throw off a consent form or two. <laughs> consent forms. I don't even know what that word means, but it sounds funny. Anyway, listen, this is happening, so you might as well just live with it. <sighs> you know, I don't even know why I bother anymore. Yeah, okay, fine, let's just light this candle. Ah, <laughs> yes! Now rise, my zombie army, and do my bidding as your master, Mayuri Kurotsuchi! Oh, oh wow, these, uh, these zombies do not seem as intimidating as I, uh, initially planned. Brains? Yeah, they seem rather, uh, small and, uh, more chibi in appearance. Huh, well, uh, I think the better question is, why are some of them horribly stereotyped? What the fuck are we supposed to do with these things, Mayori? Seriously, and why that one have a balloon on its back? That doesn't even make any sense. Was it, like, buried with the balloon? Did the balloon come back to life with it? Like I said, I, I think this whole thing's a wash, honestly. I, I really don't think these things are going to be any useful in defeating the Quincy's. Ah, oh, good news, Hashwolf. I've completed my meditation garden. Oh, it's going to be so relaxing just chilling out in here with my plants all day. Wow, your majesty, that, uh, yeah, that's, that's great. I love you, Hashwolf. I love you too, you ha Aww. Ah, yes, so as you can see here, this was the initial prototype. Uh, obviously, we've come a long way since then. Uh, moving on to number two, uh, I understand I, I was going through a phase at this moment. I don't know what was up with the green hair, but thought it was a good idea at the time. Uh, moving on to number three, uh, I believe... This one got killed by a giant rabbit hollow, if, if memory serves. Uh, this one died in a fire, uh, running with scissors, and, uh, oh, 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 number six. Yes, that, she was my favorite. She, she would do whatever I ordered. <laughs> and then one night, of course, I got drunk and ordered her to hold a live explosive. And, well, you can see where the rest of that went from there. Uh, I think there's still some pieces of her actually lying around. Uh, yeah, but, uh, anyway, those are all your sisters. Uh... Welcome to the family. Happy birthday, Nemu. Oh, run for the hills! Oh my god, it's a giant hand! Oh, would someone please save all the children? That thing just flipped me off. Oh yeah, he got what was coming to him right there. This is so stupid! I mean, look how cheap that green screen is! And hey, how come the hand is in color and everything else is in black and white? This movie's a piece of shit! Hey buddy, okay, listen. You are clearly missing the greater point of this story. It's about one man's journey. What do you mean, one man's journey? It's about a disembodied arm from outer space that just attacks the city for no established reason. 
It's a metaphor. Or maybe a simile. I don't know. I don't really pay much attention to that English crap. It's mostly just about lasers blowing shit up. I mean, the kitchen just can immerse yourself in that. I, I don't even... How are you even watching this with your freaking sunglasses on? I don't know. And then they never found the dog again. Anyway, after that I went on to get a job. I wanted something in modeling, but you can tell that that really didn't pan out, so I ended up working at a McDonald's for a few years. Then I ended up eating one of the employees, and, uh, well, it's kind of the same thing that happened with the dog. I really couldn't stay there anymore. Oh my god, this is hell! I mean, I know this is literally hell, but this is more hell than any hell has to deal with. God, please help me! Sile Opero, your time has come. I am in need of your crazy antics once again. You will be revived for a single chapter. Okay, fine, fine, whatever, I'll take it, I don't care. Just anything is better than this, God. You're welcome. And as an added bonus, you get to berate Mariuri Kurotsuchi again. Oh, happy day, and it keeps getting better. Hashtag Revival CIO, bitches! <coughs> Oh great, now we're just gonna spend the rest of eternity talking together in hell. It'll be just like boarding school all over again. Hey, hey, now, it could be worse. We could have ended up in that place where all the non-canon characters go after their arcs have finished. You guys are fucking boring. Yeah, buddy, well, if you don't like it, you can get out! Yeah! That's what I thought. Oh, hey, come on in, come on in, sir, sir. How you doing? I'm Hunter Deerman. See anything you like? What can I help you with today? Oh, hi, yeah. Uh, look, I'm not from around here. I'm just kind of visiting the living world, and I, uh, was on my way back home, and I figured I'd stop here because... It seems that lately I've been fighting against people that like to use guns, and I'm getting kind of tired of getting shot all the goddamn time, so... C can you, uh, give me one so I could fight back at least? I know just the thing you're talking about, sir. Home defense is one of the prime reasons the Second Amendment is by far the greatest thing this country ever cooked up. I got just the thing for you here, right here, sir. This is, uh, this beauty right here should be able to protect yourself against any home invaders of any sort of type. All you gotta do is- Oh, no, 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 I think you're misunderstanding. See, this isn't just for personal protection, see. I'm trying to protect my entire society, I guess you could call it, from invaders, and well... Oh, okay, sir, I, I know what you're talking about. Forgive me, forgive me. That's an awesome eye patch, by the way. Oh, well, I don't always wear it, but thanks for the compliment. Illegal immigrants, so let me tell you, I got the thing right for you here. This will stop them right in their tracks. All you gotta do is... No, no, you don't... Okay, they're Nazis, all right? I, I didn't want to just come out and say it, but yeah, we're basically fighting against the Nazis. Oh, okay, okay. You know what, sir? I wasn't sure about you at first with the flashy way you dress. I thought you were one of those, those city folk. But let me tell you something. Now that I get to know you, I think you are a true American. Um, if it'll help me get a gun faster, d then yeah, sure, I'm American. Damn straight. Got something right here for you. This is the best gun in my shop. This right here is a phase plasma rifle. Takes down a liberal from up to 600 yards. No, I said we were fighting against the Nazis. Yeah, I heard you. Liberals. So if you just pay attention right here, you can insert the plasma bullet right in this slot. Yeah, yeah, okay, look, you're obviously insane. C you just give me that Uzi in that glass container there, and I'll be on my way. Really? You wanna... Okay, well, I guess that's fine, but it just seems like a damn waste. Damn waste. All right, I'll go bag that for you. You want a bottle of Jack Daniels with that? Dear Nisama, I hope you are well. It feels like forever since the last time we spoke, but I've been training all the time to get stronger and stronger so I can protect you. Why, the other day I practiced the Shunko technique with Soyphone, but I accidentally burned off her clothes. I gave her some of yours to wear, but then she got a massive nosebleed for some reason and had to leave in a hurry. Oh, and before I forget, the Quincy's invaded yesterday and killed a bunch of people and the Captain Commander. They were really mean. I hope to see you soon. Love, Yushiro. P.S. I stubbed my toe today and only cried for five minutes. <laughs> Mom and Dad would be so proud of me. <sighs> How the fuck am I related to him again? Oh, yeah. 
Just like that. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Oh, you naughty kitty, huh? Almost there. Almost there. Uh, Bonkai! Oh. Oh, I love it when you're like that. Yeah, me too. Whew. Oh. Wow, that is... She is wild. Oh. Uh... Hi, Uru. Uh, Mr. Kisuke, I, uh... I heard noises. Uh, yeah, it was, uh... Me just watching porn. Just normal human and human porn. T totally nothing out of the ordinary. R right yeah, but... Why do you smell like catnip? Uh... That's not the only thing I smell like. I think there's, uh, some shame in there, too. Oh. Where's Miss Yoroichi? Go back to bed, Uru! And we're never speaking about this moment again. Uahara-san, I need your help to get stronger so I can help Ichigo save Orohime. Will you please assist me? Uh, yeah, sure I will. Hey, Renji! What? Help Chad train! He needs to fight a Bonkai! Don't you have that? Don't you just lie around my house all day like a flock of seagulls? Fuck you! Oh, just get off your ass and train him. Uahara, help me get stronger, dog. Uh, yeah, sure, I have time. Uh, hey, Renji! What? Go get us some juice boxes. I'm gonna use my Bonkai to help train Chad. You have that? Damn fucking straight I have that! To the subterranean training ground! Okay, Urohara, do you want Radical Raspberry or Cool Kiwi Strawberry? Oh my god! Uh, yeah, maybe in hindsight you probably should have been the one to train him. Uh, hey, Uru, go fetch the Blood Mop, and Jinta, go fetch the Adhujis, uh, bu actually no, better make it a Gillion-sized bucket. We're gonna, we're gonna be up all night. Oh, my head is killing me. What the f- where am I? Kenny. It's time to wake up now, Kenny. Oh, Yajiru, is that you? Wh where have you been? I was looking all over. <laughs> oh, Kenny, I've been next to you, just like always. Anyway, it's time for you to get up now, okay? There's a lot of enemies you still need to fight. Uh, wh wh where am I? Oh, you're in a tube. Yeah, that creepy guy from Squad 12 put you in here after he stabbed you. Wait, you mean my Yori- Oh, right! That fucking asshole, my Yori stabbed me! Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, yeah, he stabbed you, to save your life, after you got your knees fucked over by a giant hand. After you got your arm destroyed, by a giant hand. I think you should thank him, actually. I... I don't know what that word thank means. Yeah, I know you don't. Listen, you have to go over there, and you have to fight, and then maybe you'll get to see me again. Okay, I guess if that's what you say. Yep, now just remember, cut him like a fish for me! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Hey there, bright-eyed young Soul Reaper! I'm Captain Joe, and I'm here to teach you about the finer points of being a captain in the Gotei 13. So let's go! Now, if you recently became a captain in the Gotei 13, you might think the world is your oyster. You're now commanding your own division, and you've achieved the highest level of Zanpakuto release. <laughs> Hold on there, buckaroo, because a Bonkai is a responsibility, not a privilege. Or maybe the other way around, I'm not sure. Point is, over 60 Bonkai-related accidents occur every year. So for that reason, and in accordance with new Soul Society legislation, here's a list of things that you are never to do with your Bonkai. Cooking an egg. Flying a kite. Having sex. Blowing up the moon. Building a birdhouse. Playing dodgeball. Having sex while playing dodgeball. And arm wrestling. However, keep in mind, if you are a female Bonkai user, you are allowed to use your Bonkai for the following. Doing laundry, housekeeping, and making your male captain a sandwich. Your Bonkai is an incredible thing that makes you unique, but it's also something that could genocide an entire race of people. So if you're ever in dire straits of whether or not you use your Bonkai, just remember, you can't spell Bonkai without swastika. 
This PSA is brought to you by good old fashioned Soul Society Slims. You already died once, what's the worst that can happen? Alright, so what did you learn? Zoraki! Oh, 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 I learned not to use Bonkai t t to, like, take over the world. Ugh, whatever. Listen, I know you don't have a Bonkai, but if you ever do, you have to keep in mind that it's a strength that you can't just exploit for your own gain. Uh, is killing people for my own gain? Uh, I guess conceivably, but not necessarily. Alright then, I guess we're done. Yes, I heard you, Kurosaki. Listen, this is Uryu's battle. Alright, he dug himself into it, he'll get himself out. He's an adult now. Yeah, well, that might work for your son, but it's not the same with me and Uryu. Okay, look, well, you can go help him out if you want. I'm not going to stop you, but leave me out of it. It doesn't matter what she would have wanted. She's dead. Buddy, Teching Povich here. Welcome back to the show. Okay, so before our commercial break, we talked to this orange-haired teen right here, and now we're going to reveal the DNA evidence and see who is the biological father of this young man right here. Now, I should just admit that I do not know what's going to happen, but it's probably going to involve a lot of drama and people getting the shit beat out of them on national television, but that's entertainment now, right? So here we go. We have four potential candidates right here on who is the actual father. And now the results shall be known to the world. The true father of Ichigo Kurosaki is... Kyo Soma from Fruits Basket. You know what? It makes about as much sense as anything else that's going on right now. <laughs> 